Yeah, guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is currently Monday and it is currently bank holiday. A bank holiday Monday. Do I have something rather interesting to tell you guys? Now, I haven't exactly mentioned anything about what I'm about to tell you because it was partly to do with my personal life. Right? Originally, I decided to put myself on Badoo, the dating app, to find someone. To, to, to try and look for someone who wants to have a serious relationship with me. However, within the beginning of the week, this girl named Tracy contacts me. She starts talking to me, being all rather nice and kind of flirty, as a girl does, you know, making out that she wants to do this and do that. And, well, all week she'd been talking to me for the, throughout the entire week. Turns out she's all mouth and no action. Doesn't act on anything that she says that she wanted to do. Um, basically a dolly daydreamer. Because she kept saying that she wanted to meet me in all this bollocks. Excuse the language bollocks, but you know. Um, yeah. Uh, I even, she kept going up with saying that she was scared to drive all the way from Norwich. Norwich is it? Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. She kept saying that she, she want, was scared to drive down here just to meet me. Then, the, uh, the other thing was that apparently I live too far away, even though it's one hour, a one hour journey from where she is to here, which isn't that long. Um, well, so, um, oh, not, not only that, she said that she didn't trust the Google Maps sat-nav. Apparently it's not 100% accurate, even though I'd screenshotted a screenshot off of Google Maps saying that it is 100% accurate to use, as a lot of people use Google Maps sat navigation to travel anywhere. So that is basically her using that as an excuse and she also kept saying what happens if she got lost by driving down here. Even another excuse. Uh, this morning I give her the option for me to travel down to the Yarmouth train station to meet her there. And then we both travel back down here together. Then that way... She doesn't feel like she's dri driving down here on her own, or scared or whatever, yeah? She can't even do that. Then she, she well, she did agree to do that. And then she went back on her word saying, the, oh, she, she can't do this and she can't do that. Uh, not only that, she also kept, she, at one point she used her ex-boyfriend as an excuse. Uh, she used uh, her friends as an excuse, saying that she's going to be meeting up with her friends over the week. I mean, at the very beginning, she literally had booked a week off from her work just so she could meet me in the first place. But then turns out, she can't be bothered. A time waster on Badoo. Guys, anyone who uses Badoo, take yourself off there because there are it's all full of time wasters waste of time date naps pointless waste of time so now I've actually officially blocked her deleted her contact number I've taken her off of whatsapp and I've deleted her on messenger and taken her off facebook wow that's five things <laughs> Because I've had enough of the uh, stupid nonsense. A time waster. I mean, she, she couldn't even take me serious. I'm a serious guy who's just looking for someone to have a serious relationship with. Beyond an utter joke. For an entire week, she's talking to me. Up until now, 
I'll give her that one small simple option just to meet me at the train station and then travel back down here together. It's not that difficult to do. I'm going to say this, but dating apps, waste of time, I've already mentioned it, but they are an utter waste of time. Even all women are all wastes of time. So, yeah, that's basically starting off the Monday bank holiday uh, vlog. So I've had that going on for the entire week. I would even, well, I've, del I've deleted her now. I was going to say I would show you guys the whole chat conversation, but I've deleted her now, so. Which is nothing, I need to delete all the stupid photos of her, of her that she sent to me. So, well, with that said, guys, oh, before I end uh, Monday's vlog, as a... Uh, I'm not sure if I did already mention this, I can't remember, because of all the nonsense that's been going on with this girl called Tracy, messing me around and all that, that's been on my mind. So, I'm going to quickly mention that I did go down to the Sean Davies Nice Hog Shop to get myself a hefty chain bike lock for my uh, 125 swim moped, and as well as... Uh, some uh, waterproof trousers for in case it may rain while I'm out on the road. Uh, however, I came across the on the Sean Davies Motorcycle Facebook page that he has his own merchandise of t-shirts, which looks like which looks like this, and then on the back just says Sean Davies Motorcycle. So I decided to buy one of these t-shirts and plus a nice like heavy guarded safety giant hoodie like it has all the, the padding to protect your arms and shoulders and so on so I now don't have to wear like a massive heavy jacket I can just wear this instead that looks like a standard hoodie which I like. It is rather heavy though. So, also I'm going to quickly mention guys, right? I um, may have captured some paranormal activity as well to do with this hanging up on this picture frame behind me. Right, this is, this on the end of this hanger is a rubber stopper and if you hang it up Like that, on, on the uh, picture frame, it by right, the rubber stopper should stop it from falling. However, this seems to... What's been captured on these, my CCTV camera is the hoodie appears to just fall for no apparent reason. Which makes no sense, even though the, the coat hanger has a rubber stopper on the end of it to stop it from falling off of anything. As you can probably see, it's stayed there now, but if I go to walk away and leave it, it's guaranteed it's going to fall on its own just for no reason. It makes no sense. And also, I've also captured another orb flying directly towards the security camera up in my living room, and Obviously I have a security camera pointing out in the car park where my moped is so I can keep an eye on it, make sure no one's touching it or whatever. Um, I've even captured some bizarre strange noises from outside. In fact, what I'm going to do is go and, uh, go and get the, my phone because I have the strange noises captured on my phone. Back in a sec, guys. <clears throat> right, as I was just uh, explaining the strange noises, just went to grab my phone. 
And what I'm going to do is play the strange noises. The, the camera that's pointing out my kitchen window right now. Those strange noises. Here is one strange noise. Make sure my phone volume is up. I'm not sure whether to play it through a Bluetooth speaker, I'm not sure actually, I'm not sure. I'll just play it through the phone for now anyway. This is one strange noise. Actually, I don't think you can even hear that. I'm going to go and get a Bluetooth speaker, back in a sec. Right guys, <laughs> finally I had to grab the Bluetooth speaker just so you could hear the sound a lot better that I captured on the security camera near my kitchen window. I made sure the volume's up full, like so. <laughs> and this was captured at like 1.41 in the morning. And what you're about to hear is a very horrible, strange noise. It even has a strange echo tone to it as well which makes no sense. It sort of fades off into the distance sort of sound. It's kind of weird. It sounds creepy as well. I'm going to play that again. It makes utter no sense whatsoever of where it could be. I've even thought it may have been a motorcycle out on the road, main road, and yeah, it's not even it's not even a motorcycle. It doesn't sound exactly the same because I tried to play a sound of a motorbike uh, a little while ago, and it sounds nothing like it. I mean, how creepy! You know, it sounds like one of those giant. Alien ships from War of the Worlds. That's what that sounds like. So what I'm going to do next is play the second strange sound, which was only captured last night at, which yeah it was captured at 12 o'clock midnight, which also makes no sense. And this was only captured last night. Now, I'm not even sure what's even creating that noise. First, I thought it might have been a kid's whistle, but why would there be a kid outside at 12 o'clock midnight outside blowing a whistle? It makes no sense. It's just creepy. There's some creepy sounds going on outside of my neighborhood of where I live. Literally, is makes no sense. It's bizarre. Weird. Literally makes no sense. And I might, uh, I will definitely be including the strange orbs captured on my. Uh, Actually, no, I probably won't actually include the clip of the strange orbs. Due to the fact that all my living room is currently upside down as I've got bits and pieces all over the place because I am in the middle still putting everything straight and tidy. So, hope you guys have actually enjoyed the Monday's Bank Holiday vlog today. And I shall hopefully see you guys tomorrow in Tuesday's vlogs.
Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is kind of Tuesday, and as you saw in yesterday's vlog, which was uh, yesterday was Monday back holiday, and I was uh, kind of talking about how I got messed around by a girl off of the date nap badu. Uh, yeah, she proper really uh, like annoyed me by talking to me over the, the entire week. And then she, she said that she wanted to meet up and all this nonsense. Uh, yeah, in the very beginning, she kind of asked me to obviously book a hotel all the way in Great Yarmouth because she lives like not far from Great Yarmouth. And I said to her, there's no way I'm doing that. And I said to her, why doesn't she travel all the way from where she comes from down to here? But then she kept come, coming up with silly excuses and making load of crap up basically and then until it came near enough the actual day of the the actual plan of the actual day that we were meant to meet up on she suddenly decides that she's gonna back out on it and go back on her words basically messing me around so that's what I was talking about in uh, yesterday's vlog as well as a couple of other things uh, the reason I'm starting off the vlog here today is obviously uh, normally uh, when I go out down to my doctor's surgery to put in a repeat description I obviously start off the vlog walking down the uh, that narrow small footpath known as the with no trail that goes at the bottom of East Hill uh, obviously now that I've got myself a 125 moped well, I won't be able to do any vlogs while going along, obviously, because I've got to concentrate on driving on the road. So, yeah, the vlogs are going to be slightly different, as I now currently own a moped that I need to actually start using and start driving on so I can get used to driving on the road. So, yeah, the vlogs are going to be slightly different uh, at the moment. And... Knowing that I am still uh, obviously uh, waiting on for my license to turn up in the post, however, I have actually just been online on Google to double check that it's still okay to drive without carrying a license on me. I don't understand. Okay, my, my uh, Google Mini just went off in the bedroom saying I don't understand. That's eerily weird. Huh. As I was saying, I've uh, been online on, on Google and I've searched up that if I, is it, well I've searched up to find out if it's uh, alright to still drive without carrying a license on me and yeah, you can still continue driving without carrying a license on you. I've even screenshotted it just in case uh, just in case I may get stopped, so I've screenshotted that part to, just to sort of show the police officer or if I do end up getting pulled over or stopped or whatever, let's just hope I don't, because that, that sort of thing does kind of worry, I mean, plus it is uh, kind of lying nerve-wracking for me because I'm only just beginning to sort of... Uh, hopefully learn and get back on track on getting used to the roads again as I did used to drive a 50cc uh, about probably uh, three four years ago when I lived in Blackpool as I at that time I did own a 50cc moped so I'm basically you kind of teaching my my brain all over again basically start from scratch so, with that said guys, I'm going to get myself ready to pop out down to my doctor's surgery to put in for the repeat prescription. And I may possibly pick up the vlog when I get down there or when I get back here. So I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, finally got down to my doctor's surgery. I've literally just put in my uh, repeat prescription. And I made it, well, drove down here safely. 
So now I'm going to drive back home safely and carefully. So I should pick up the vlog when I get back home. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right. As you saw in the last part of the vlog there, I successfully managed to drive down safely down to my doctor's surgery to put in for a repeat prescription for some more tablets that I need. And I also safely drove back okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of uh, starting to get used to actually, yeah, starting to get used to driving uh, another uh, another moped. Uh, at the moment, it is gradually going to take me some time to actually get used to driving this one. At the moment, because of this the, this moped that I've got now it is a lot faster than my previous bike that I had a few years ago because the one I have now is a 125 slightly faster uh, also while I was also uh, kind of driving on the road getting used to like the road and driving on the road and basically driving with my uh, moped on um, the Brook Street Road a set of traffic lights and uh, Obviously, when you're trying to turn a certain corner or to a certain road, there's a road like the, in the middle of Brook Street. You have to sit in the middle of the road waiting to turn, and there are two lots of like traffic, like one's like lot of traffic going one way, then like another lot of cars coming the other way, and yeah, I was like kind of panicking. I was like, I was like sitting there, I was like, yeah, someone's going to have to let me over, you know. Kind of panicking a bit, but I managed to actually uh, get down to my doctor's surgery okay. It wasn't too bad on the way back either. Pretty much straightforward anyway. So, yeah, as I said, that it's going to take me uh, some time to get used to driving another moped. At least now I can get from A to B and travel around. But as I also said at the beginning of the uh, vlog today, I am still kind of waiting for my licence to turn up in the post. Uh, I'm hoping it should turn up by the end of this week, I'm hoping. Or if not, by next week. Uh, other video content for my YouTube channel. Uh, when I'm obviously more or better and more used to driving on the road, I am going to get back on track and perhaps go out to some haunted locations and hopefully even film some more powerful film some more powerful episodes um, as well as obviously go out at night well I've got to also get myself used to driving on the road at night if I'm going to go out and investigate the paranormal so yeah I've got to obviously get used to driving at night as well not just in the daytime uh, as well as uh, the gaming video content, I have some gaming content I am still in the middle of working on, such as the Train Simulator game video, I am still working on that at the moment, uh, as I'm halfway through uh, filming the game video for that. Uh, I might uh, be, hopefully soon, I am going to be including small spirit box sessions for my PowerPoint West Facebook page as well. Um, I might even do a couple of videos for YouTube for my YouTube channel as well. I uh, think I've pretty much covered most of the video content which I have planned anyway. So guys, with that said, that is going to be the end of I think today's Tuesday and I will see you guys tomorrow in Wednesday's vlog. Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs there. Today is kind of Wednesday, and as you saw in yesterday's vlog, I uh, went out down to my doctor's surgery to obviously put in a repeat prescription for some more tablets that I needed. However, a little while later when I came back, I got a phone call from the doctor's surgery saying that I had put my prescription in way too early, meaning that they won't. I'm not going to do my prescription because apparently, yeah, I did put it in too early. Normally I leave it for like two weeks and then, and then obviously put in my prescription. So, 
Yeah, as I'm already running low on my original tablets that I needed. Now, today I've got to go all the way into town to try and get some power seat more or some sort of cocoa more as a temporary thing until I can uh, next get down to my doctor's. Possibly next week I'm going to have to do that now to obviously put in for another repeat prescription. So, yeah, at the start of Wednesday's vlog, I'm going to be going to town, going to probably into the Boots Pharmacy because that's the actual best place where I can probably get some cocoa more anyway. So, yeah, with that said, I shall possibly pick up the next part of the vlog either when I get into town or once I've probably done what I need to do in town. So, catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, finally we made it in town. I had trouble finding somewhere to park, but eventually I did. So now I'm going to head straight into Boots if I can get some cocoa more. And that's where I've basically come in for. Look, I've just seen someone who I know. Lucky enough that they haven't seen me. <laughs> so I'm going to head down to Boots and I'll pick up the next part of the vlog in a little while. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, finally been in town, went to the Boots Pharmacy with uh, Co Now I'm currently just going to head home and I should pick up the vlog when I get back and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, as you saw in that last part of the vlog, I was currently in town in the area where people obviously lock their bikes up. I did eventually obviously get some Co Codemol from the Boots Pharmacy. However, when I returned to the area of where I locked my, uh, my moped bike, um, I have a, an alarm that goes on the front wheel, which basically has a very loud like alarm like sound on it that goes off basically really loud. And I'm pretty sure I remember putting it on the, the actual uh, wheel rim and locking it up and all that but yeah as I obviously came back it was the lock itself was actually hanging off of the wheel even though I'm pretty sure I did lock it up completely on the actual uh, rim of the wheel so someone had attempted to tamper with either the lock or the bike while I was in town. Colchester is full of vandals, you see. Thieves. Idiots. Morons. Whatever you want to call them. So I don't think I'll be uh, parking my bike um, around the back of um, Cashmere's anymore. As I was originally trying to look for the other car park that I was trying to find. But that went out of my head completely, so that was the reason why I ended up parking my bike outside the back of Cashmere Motors. So, obviously now you can tell I did eventually make it back home safely, which weren't too bad actually. So guys, with that said, that is going to be the end of Wednesday's vlog, and I shall see you guys tomorrow in Thursday's vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today's Thursday. Currently making my way to the court just to get some milk and cereals. Haven't really got much planned for a Thursday. As uh, this morning, I woke up with a Migraine headaches, still have a slight headache at the moment. So, once I get back from the shop, I'm going to probably uh, spend most of my day indoors today. Like I said, I don't really have much planned for today. Might Depending on how I'm feeling later, I might work on a game video later. 
Anyway, I shall pick up the next part of the vlog on the way back and I shall catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, finally been to the shop, got my milk and cereals. Not even that. I had to wear a silly little face mask just to go in the co-op. Considering I nearly forgot to put it on <laughs> when I went in. Not only that, when I was coming out of the co-op, there's some lady standing at the bus stop. The bus obviously pulls up towards the bus stop. The bus driver opens the doors and asks this old lady, is she getting on the bus? The weirdest part, the old lady didn't even answer the driver. So the bus driver just shut his doors and drove off. Weird. If you're at a bus stop, you can wait for a bus. Common sense, you get on the bus. Obviously, this old lady didn't. How weird. <sighs> oh well. Strange, weird world. Not in that, it seems really eerily quiet in my neighbourhood for some reason today. For once, it's actually peaceful and quiet. Normally, it's always noisy. Of like neighbours shouting and so on. Anyway, guys, I shall pick up the next part of the vlog at some point during the rest of today, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo, guys, right, as you saw in the last part of the vlog, I was currently making my way back from the shop because I had to obviously get some milk and cereal, which I actually did just buy milk and cereal. Uh, well, I haven't been up to much uh, since the last part of the vlog. I mean, I obviously kind of fell asleep. Uh, then obviously I kind of woke up in a couple of hours and then found something interesting on Facebook. Um, as you already know, I bought myself a bike from the Sean Davies' motorcycle shop. And Sean has actually literally just got something really awesome in stock but I actually am going to go down to the Sean Davis's motorcycle shop tomorrow and what he's actually got in stock is a Marvel bike helmet and um, the actual design on this bike helmet is in fact the symbiote Carnage from the comic books uh, Spider-Man and the cartoon Spider-Man uh, It's actually the Cassius Carnage symbiote thing um, like paint like design over the actual uh, bike helmet and on the back of it it says Marvel on the back of it and because I'm a Marvel f like fan and I like Marvel characters and all that the plan is to go down to the Sean Davies motorcycle shop and to buy this Marvel Symbiote Carnage motorcycle helmet. That's the plan for tomorrow. Depending on if it's not too much money. Speaking of money, a certain someone, also I'm going to quickly mention this, a certain someone in my family decided to open her big mouth and blab to the world how much is in my bank account. So for those who do watch my vlogs, um, kindly take no notice of my idiot of a sister, because uh, she's basically claiming that her eight month baby burnt herself on a hairdryer which is virtually impossible because an eight month baby cannot pick up a hairdryer. So, this is my theory. The baby was crying, because uh, uh, my sister obviously uh, got fed up with the baby crying, so she picked up the hairdryer and purposely burnt her own baby in the face, just to shut the baby up. And yes, I did nearly mention her name, which I was trying to avoid doing. Yeah. Anyway guys, I do have other video content planned for my YouTube channel as well. I do keep uh, saying this. Um, it's just a reminder 
of that I am working on some video content anyway and still waiting for my uh, license to turn up in the post and once I've done that I can get myself out on the road driving on my moped but as a uh, currently I've got to wait within three weeks I've got I've waited two weeks so far and now I've got this week or should I say next week I mean to wait for my license to turn on the post and well yeah within th those three weeks whoop I can drive around on the road as I already have passed my CBT bike test already so yeah waiting for my license to turn on the post awesome good stuff great news <laughs> Anyway guys, with that said, I shall see you guys tomorrow in Friday's Vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's Vlogs there, and today is a Friday. Now you all know what that means, the end of this week's Vlogs. Now as you saw at the end of yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that I want to, that I'm going to be going down to the Sean Davis Motorcycle Shop to hopefully buy a Pacific uh, motorbike helmet. Uh, I currently am holding my tablet in my hand at the moment because I want to show you guys the actual motorcycle helmet that I want to get. As I did try to explain what it looks like uh, at the end of yesterday's vlog. That is the motorcycle helmet that I actually want to get. So that's my plan for today's vlog. To see if he actually has the motorcycle helmet in stock as he uploaded, the, well, it wasn't actually uploaded by him, it was obviously the video was uploaded by his partner. So the plan is to obviously go down to his shops and hopefully buy the motorcycle helmet. Um, with that said guys, I shall obviously give you guys an update whether I've bought, bought the uh, motorcycle helmet or not. So guys, I should pick up the vlog, possibly when I get down to the Sean Davis's motorcycle shop and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, as you saw in the beginning of the vlog, Wow, oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Someone just opening the back of their boot on its own. As I was going to say, as you saw in the beginning of the vlog, guys, I uh, mentioned that I'm uh, going to be going down to the Sean Davies motorcycle shop, but my dad wants to go in Tesco's first to get a couple of bits. So, guys, with that said, I shall pick up the next part of the vlog in a little while. Bye for now. Right guys, finally been in Tesco's, my dad, 
you know, can't even make my way down to the Sean Davies motorcycle shop and I shall possibly pick up the vlog from there and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. So, yo guys. Right. What I'm going to do, as I mentioned, that I might be buying the bike helmet. It's quite a lot of money for £25, £425 that is. What I'm going to do is probably do a bit of saving up first and then probably come down there another time I've got enough money. So I should pick up the next part of the vlog probably when I get back home and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right. Currently at my dad's as, as I've had to help him sort out a picture, which I, uh, in fact I'll show you guys the picture. Um, it is the, the day that I bought my moped. What was that? Panics. Oh. Yeah, it is the, the actual picture that I have officially got it in a frame. And the day that I actually uh, bought my moped, anyway, which I am uh, I'm going to put up on the wall when I get home. And interestingly, now guys, there's something that you don't do. Why would you do that? Sit outside having a barbecue. Totally not normal. See that 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 guy does that to every girl that he's with. Maybe he thinks that's some kind of a date for him. Who knows? With that said, guys, I shall pick up the vlog a little bit later on. Possibly when I'm back home. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys. Right, as you saw in the last part of the vlog, Bell was at my dad's. Uh, obviously, uh, while I was at my dad's, I was sorting out a picture which was taken by Sean Davis himself uh, of a picture of me with my 125 uh, moped which I am quite happy and pleased with now that I actually officially own one and it allows me to obviously get around traveling to and from places stand right there and as well as also I'm also uh, spying on my dad's neighbour who lives underneath my dad. Uh, well, I hope you guys have actually enjoyed Friday's vlog today. Um, that is going to be the end of Friday's vlog as well as the end of this week's vlogs. Uh, be sure to click the notification bell and subscribe and when you click the notification bell you guys get notified when I next upload a weekly vlog or any kind of video content that I may have planned for my YouTube channel and I shall see you guys in next week's vlogs click the notification bell subscribe <laughs>